main objective of this program is to explain about the relation operators of C language. The result of a relation operator will be either true or false. If it is true, the numerical value will be 1, otherwise 0. The relation operators are binary operators, that is two operands are required. The operands can be variables or expressions or constants of any type, either they can be integer type or float type or real type. Let a is equal to 10, b is equal to 8. Now, a greater than b, that is the one relation operator, is a greater than b, that is 10 greater than 8, yes. Thus, the result of a greater than b will be true, that is, numerical value is 1. A, is it greater than or equal to B? That is 10, greater than or equal to 8? Yes. Thus, numerical value will be 1. Is A less than B? That is 10. Is it less than 8? No. Thus, the result will be false. That is, numerical value is 0. A, is it less than or equal to B? That is 10. Is it less than or equal to 8? No. Thus, the result value will be 0. A, is it not equal to B? That is 10. Is it not equal to 8? Yes. Thus, numerical value will be 1. Is A equal to B? That is 10. Is it equal to 8? No. Thus, the result will be 0. That is false. This example is used to explain the use of the relational operators in our C language programs. The main object of this program is to read 5 students marks in a test and then calculate the average of past students. We assume that the past mark is 35. Thus, we have declared include studio.h is included in our program. That is, we do require to read data and also we do require to print results on the screen. Thus, studio.h is necessarily included in our program. As usual, main is written. Now, we have declared a flow type of variable AVG to store the average of the past students. We have declared five variables A, B, C, D, E to store the marks of the students. Then also we have declared two other variables NP that is to store the number of past students and SP to store sum of the past students marks. We know that all the students marks are integers thus the sum will be integer and also NP that is to store number of past students that will be also declared as an integer as we know the students will be who are passed will be either 3 or 4 or anything, it will be integer type only. The user interface statement printf is used to ask the user to enter the 5 students marks. We know that we wanted to read 5 students marks. Thus, we have written the format string in the scanf statement as 5 percentage d's. 
and we want to store the values whatever we enter the user enters rather into the variables a b c d e thus we have given their addresses ampersand a ampersand b ampersand c ampersand d and ampersand e this expression np is equal to a greater than equal to 35 plus b greater than equal to 35 and vice versa will give us number of students who are passed out of these five for example let a is greater than equal to 35 then the bracket value will be 1 that is if the candidate is passed the bracket value will be 1 otherwise bracket value will be 0 similarly if b is also tested against 35 is it greater than equal to 35 or not if it is true then the value will be 1 otherwise the value will be 0 thus np value will give us the total number of students passed this expression sp is equal to a greater than equal to 35 into a plus b greater than equal to 35 into b and vice versa is used to calculate the sum of the past students for example let a is 70 70 is it greater than equal to 35 yes that is the numerical value is 1 1 into a that is 70 it will be 70 that is we will be taking his marks into account for example let b is 20 for example then b is it less than or equal to 25 now that is numerical value is 0 0 into 20 is 0 that is his marks we are not taking into summation thus sp gives us total marks of the past students average is calculated as sp by np however remember sp and np they are of integer type the result will be integer only the average value will be printed with the help of this printf statement now let the user has entered a value as 79 79 is written equal to 35 yes thus that value will be 1 similarly let us assume that b value is 89 89 is equal to 35 yes thus numerical value becomes 1 let c value as 67 67 is greater than equal to 35 yes that the numerical value becomes 1 let d value as 10 10 is greater than equal to 35 no thus the result will be 0 let e value as 32 32 is it less than equal to 35 no thus the value will be false that is result is 0 Similarly, SP value is also calculated for this data. It becomes sum of the past students marks. That is 67 plus 89, etc. Now consider the, this set of data. That is, we assume the data is 10, 32, 23, 34 and 12. Then if you calculate number of past students, that will become 0. Then sum of past students, that also will become 0. This is a negative example to demonstrate an important concept in this problem. That is a runtime error again. 0 by 0 will get a runtime error. This data we have taken to demonstrate that runtime error. How to take care of the runtime error? That is, we don't want to divide SP value with NP blindly. Only if NP value is positive, we want to divide. 
Thus, we can use a higher level construct such as if 